Hello everyone, this is Dr. Aditya Gupta again. So this is the second video in the series on how to prepare for NEET PG to crack it in the first attempt starting from third year. Now in the last video I talked about that you know what all you need to do in third year. Maybe fourth year I'm not reached fourth year. This is just specifically for third year. Uh, but I specifically mentioned a point on you have to start making concise notes for ENT, Ophthal, PSM and Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. Now what do I mean by concise notes and why is this concise note concept important? See, if you look through your notes, the coaching notes that you will get, the pre-printed notes, they, are they notes or are they books? I myself a coaching faculty, but the, everyone knows that they are, they are more books rather than notes at this point of time. They're obviously notes of the standard textbooks, sure, but they have not, they are not notes, notes which you can actually revise in the last 10 days or 20 days when you actually end up giving your NEET PG. So see, you're actually gearing up for that actual NEET PG exam which is going to happen two years, three years down the lines, right? So ENT, probably there will be 400 pages notes. How many questions come from ENT? Two, three. Opthal, there will be 600 pages note. Again, how many questions will come? Four, five. Path has 600 pages note, but 20 questions come from it. So you have to have a proportionate distribution, right? So this, this is where the concept of concise notes comes in. So the last video we discussed in the third year, you have to do PSM FMT because that's obviously the prof one. So you have to, you have to get done when dusted with it. You can't leave ENT and Opthal for final year. Okay, you can't leave it for that. Do it right now. Nahi karoge to for final year mein gaan maregi tumhari. Sorry for that word, but sachai hai. You will get metaphorically fucked in your ass if you don't uh, do at least one of the ENT and Opthal in third year. It will become too tough to handle your final year, being very honest about that. And then comes uh, around along with that two minors, psyche, derma, derma, ortho, ortho, anesthesia, something on those lines. Along with, abhi abhi you have already done path and pharma, revise path and pharma. This is because it will help you in coming, going towards medicine as far as medicine is concerned in final year when you'll do medicine. Okay. Now coming to, uh, like I said, there is a hierarchy, there's a proper hierarchy. Okay, first you have your standard textbooks and your main notes, which of the apps which are there. You have read the videos, you see the video, you see the notes, well, very good. You read the tag textbook, get more conceptual understanding, but you have to understand that these things can be read once or twice. Okay, books have to be read once or twice for the proper conceptual base that you have. Coaching notes are meant for, consider them as notes for your prof exam, but they do not stay the notes for your actual entrance exam. For entrance exams, you have to go down a little more hierarchy and you have to create your own concise notes. Okay, books are for reading, for conceptual understanding, coaching notes are for writing prof exams, a little bit concepts also obviously, and own concise notes are basically for recall and revision purpose. But the most important thing is these concise notes, you have to make yourself. And this is what I'm going to teach you in this particular video. All right, because in internship, if especially if your college has a very hectic internship, you won't get time to make those concise notes. Okay, so you have to do them in the third and fourth year itself. That is the thing. If your internship is very, very light, for example, in Ames, we used to have a very light internship. The internship, people actually start making concise notes in internship. So if your college doesn't have a hectic internship, you are able to spare seven or eight hours on a daily basis during internship also during that point of time, then maybe you can make these concise notes in internship also. But if you know your college has a tough internship, it has a hectic internship, the job of making concise notes starts in the third and fourth year itself. This is a plain and simple formula. This is a plain and simple formula. Okay. Now I'll start with, I'll explain how to make concise notes. I'll start with a very important topic that is cystic fibrosis. This is a marrow notes, for example. So in cystic fibrosis, if you see this, the marrow notes, they are one page, two page, three page, and you can actually summarize the most important bits in just half a page, which I've written here. When you're making concise notes, when you're making concise notes, what do you need to keep? You need to keep those facts which are repeatedly tested. Basically the previous year question facts. Okay, minimal explanation. In the concise notes, you don't need to explain stuff. You don't need to put concepts. There is no need to put concepts because you have already read the standard textbook and you have already read the main notes for concepts. Concepts once there, you never forget, right? So what you have to write in concise notes, you have to write revisable stuff, recallable stuff, stuff which you tend to forget a lot. So for example, let's assume cystic fibrosis. Let's say cystic fibrosis. So how will I make cystic fibrosis ke concise note? Those three pages summarized in half a page or maximum one page. So I'll start first. In the main notes, it will be written as it is an autosomal recessive disorder. You don't need to write like the entire thing, right? You just write 
AR, chromosome 7, most common mutation is delta F508. CFTR mutation, which is a chloride channel. No chloride, no water in secretion, resulting in thick secretions. That's why it's called muco mucoviscoidosis. Now, imagine how much information which is probably given in one page in a main note has been, can be written in like, you know, just one paragraph. But you can only understand this one paragraph. You have first gone through the main notes, then made your own concise notes. Shorthand, no explanation, revisability and recallability part. The high yield material put down in the main notes. All right. And after this, these thick secretions, what will they cause in pancreas? They will cause infection in the lungs. They will cause meconium ileus. They will cause cholestasis. Uh, pancreas, if it's not there, there will be no fat. So I've not written no fat absorption leading to setoria. I've not written that. I've written simply cross fat, Statoria, no water soluble vitamins, bracket ADEK. I've not written vitamin ADEK deficiency will be seen. That's how you make concise notes. You have retained all the information, but written it in a shorthand format, remove the explanation and convert it at three pager into half pager. That three pager into half pager. All right. Similarly, in the diagnostic criteria, sweat chloride more than 60 on 2, 2 CF mutation, abnormal nasal potential. Anyone. You don't need to do all the three ones. You don't need to do all the three, just any one of this you can diagnose. Treatment is newer drugs along with pancreatic enzyme replacement and supplementation of sub deficient mind. So in this way, you can concise everything in half page. Start doing it for ENT, Ophthal, PSM and FMT. At least these four subjects, when you're doing, when you're reading the main notes, watching the videos, reading the standard textbooks, simultaneously get into the habit of making concise notes. Now you will say one thing, very important thing. Okay, sir, how do we get to know what is the important out of whatever we are reading? That is previous year question. That's what I talked about in last video also. That you don't need to start doing the QBank right now, but start solving the PYQs. For this, you can use, if you have, let's say, Marrow, you can, you, Marrow problem is that they are given subject wise. That's why I say you can use Reflex because Reflex may, if you have read one particular topic on that day itself, you can get to know the important questions that have been asked from an EPG perspective on that day itself. Because the questions are given topic wise as far as Reflex is concerned. Plus it has a broader range of previous questions. So you cover the breadth also is maintained and Reflex also has my own concise notes, which you can use as a reference. I still advise don't use them. Use them as a reference to make your own concise notes. So what is our goal? Our goal is whatever the notes are there in the coaching apps, you'll use them to crack, give the prof exam for your concepts, but simultaneously you will create on your own concise notes. This has to be done in third and fourth year. If your internship is hectic, if your internship is not hectic, you can probably postpone portion of it to internship, but at least for some subjects, try to do it in the third and fourth year itself. So if you have 400 pages of pediatrics, try to make it 200 pages. If you have 500 pages of ENT, try to make it 200 to 50 pages, around half, around 50%. Read a topic, did the previous year questions, understood the important points, made shorthand notes, made notes which have facts, not explanations, and concised it. This is what I mean by concising. Because you cannot revise 400 pages on the last 10 day. Okay. So third year, may we have our goal clear. We have to do PSM, FMT, ENT, Optal, 50% of pediatrics when pediatric posting is going, two minors and path pharma revision. Now you might say, sir, this looks a lot. It is not. You cannot waste your third year doing just PSM and FMT while ignoring everything else. Like I said, final prof me aake fir lag jayegi tumhari. You will actually metaphorically because it will become too much to cover. You will have anxiety, you will have depression, you will have all the other things in the world. Instead, be prepared. You already know what's going to happen. Please do ENT and Ophthal in third year itself. If not, if you feel, if you feel that you cannot do both ENT and Ophthal, at least do ENT or at least one of them. Two minors are not going to take too much time. Frankly, take any minor. It will have 10 or 12 hours or 15 hours of on the videos on the higher side. You can complete them in one or maximum two weeks from a PG perspective. Watch the video. Psychiatry and Derma can actually be done in 10, 20 days maximum if you get to it. That is not a problem. Path Pharma, you have already revised. We are already done in the second year. So your concepts are already there, right? And you have to revise it with first aid. How to use first aid? How to use first aid for first and second prof will be covered in the next video. All right, it is not. Okay, this looks a lot, it is not. You have to do some portion of fourth year in the third year itself. Otherwise, fourth year will be very tough. And the reason I keep on emphasizing in Path Pharma revision is because medicine will become very easier and I'll talk about when I talk about how to go about in fourth year. All right, this is from my side today. Thank you and have a nice day.